In the annals of history, the trapezohedron has been a beacon for those daring to peer into the void. From the Romans to the Egyptians and even the Aztecs, civilizations across time have wielded this gem to commune with realms beyond our understanding. Seeking knowledge and technology, it's a testament to humanity's unyielding quest for the unknown, bridging worlds in search of wisdom and power. However, my esteemed students, while many regard the writings of H.P. Lovecraft as mere fiction, I hold a different view. In my personal opinion, Lovecraft's tales are not just products of a vivid imagination, but glimpses into truths too vast and terrifying for the ordinary mind to comprehend. It's a perspective that invites us to question the very fabric of our reality, challenging the boundaries between the known and the unknowable. I have a question, Professor. Professor Moraes, if Lovecraft's tales aren't purely fiction, as you suggest, do you believe that there are factual elements in his depiction of the trapezohedron? And if so, what evidence points to this gem being more than just a myth within his narratives? Certainly, the crux of your question lies in the historical figure of Abdul al-Hazred, better known as the Mad Arab, who is credited with penning the Necronomicon. Lovecraft was said to be influenced by translations of Alhazred's work, which, according to Middle Eastern historians, detailed entities and artifacts similar to those in his stories. Alhazred's own mysterious and unsettling demise in broad daylight, deemed supernatural by some accounts, is well documented and adds a layer of veracity to the argument that Lovecraft's fiction may have been grounded in darker truths. And if anyone is interested in viewing the trapezohedron gemstone, the Arkham Historical Museum is only a 20 minutes drive from campus. Well, folks, that's it for today. Have a great weekend. If it's all the same to you, I am very keen on having my evening coffee. In my office, it is the only constant in my life. You are welcome to a cup all the while you tell me about your proposition. Lead and I'll follow.